Dance TV. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh video. Today we're gonna do a Tay Burn deck. I know a lot of you want a um, Clown version 2.0. I'm still working on that video because I need a lot more gems for that to happen. So here I have a poor hobo deck. What do you mean a poor hobo deck? This is a King of Games uh, KC Cup poor hobo deck. Basically, all these cards are very easy to get. Um, you can make it quite far, just like the last deck that I showed you guys, the Joey Last Gamble deck. So you use this deck to burn your opponent and try to kill them by burning their life points. Here, I'm just putting down a monster in defense mode. I try to not use any spell cards right away um, because I think it gives it away. I try to get as many cards in my hand as possible. But for here, I started using Fireball because I'm running out of cards in my hand. I took out um, the coin exchange card. I, I only have one left in my newest version because I think when there's two or more of that card in the deck, it ruins the deck for some reason. It gives me like a dead draw, so I don't like that. Here I'm just putting my monster in defense mode. Um, I'm very scared of order of charge um, from Rex because that's very common these days. And here just putting monster in defense mode. He attacks me. Uh, Needle Ball, that's from the new deck. You give up 2000 life points uh, for giving up 1000 damage. It's not that bad. It's useful for some cases. Another, another card you want in this deck might be Burning Land, but it's hard to get that card right now, you know? Here, Gaia gave him some damage. Here, the exchange card is slightly important. But first, I give off the damage. 400 right there. use it. it. It's not nice to leave face up monsters on the field in the current meta game because order of charge is everywhere. Uh, relinquish, oh my god, that's a pain. There, I got a very good draw. Bam, fireball, bam, goblin feet. You know, not too hard, easy to climb up the ladder, very easy to get the cards except Big shield right now because that I should have got a second one of the KC Cup award, but I didn't. Ugh. I missed out. Anyway, here for his Mai. Mai is a little bit scary. At, at first, I I always leave like a trap card. In the, I mean, a spell card on the field. I pretend it's a trap card, but you can't really do that with Mai. Here, I used to cut with face because I got. Uh, one of the damaging cards in the hand, the, the destruction card, so you could get, use a cup of ace if you have that card in your hand. Here another fireball, another goblin thief, bam, another 500. Put down a defense, put down cocoon first if you have two cards, I, I feel like that's a better choice because they're, no, they're not that cautious when you put down the second card, so they won't use like a uh, the fire dino or the harpy to disable the effect. Like, see, stupid relinquish again. I hate the meta game right now because it's very relinquish based. Like seven out of ten decks you see on the de uh, on the ladder is willing for very annoying. Here, another fire vault. Bam. Put down needle ball. Wait for next turn. Hopefully needle ball doesn't get relinquished. I'm 
like there's no reason to push, which is nice. Here, I take a gamble because I feel like I have enough damage output. Activate Needle Ball. 2000 life damage, 1000. And then throw away all these cards just for two cards. Come on. There you go, Fireball. Done. Easy game. And, and it's just fast. I like the game fast. I don't like to stall out the game. I don't like to play with trap cards, relinquish. Here, a couple of ways. That's a gamble right there. Gamble failed. Get down with your shield. Get down Goblin Thief. I'm trying to get more gems to build more decks for you guys. It's very hard to get gems these days and decks are getting more and more expensive <laughs> since I don't pay to win so I don't, I don't have much gems guys. Uh, I'm trying to build a magician deck also, a warm worm deck, need lots of cards and I'm trying to get a second Karibo from the first pack which is a pain. So yeah. He was playing a defensive card. Couple of A's. Not the best choice, keep giving him cards. It's very easy to get him to kill you if you keep giving him cards. It was a bad choice, but I'll live with it. that bad but you need that uh, you need that card from the from the third pack that little double summon thingy whatever the name is it's not that great in the meta right now and and tribute summon in general is not really worth it in the current meta unless you have a special way of summoning it This is a waste of deck space. When you look at the upper tier of the meta game, they have like what two free creables, two free sergeants, two free barrel walls, those are standard stuff. Here my big shield died, which is not good. Okay, that's a nice damage output. I'm gonna throw it his face, bam! Here I'm in, I'm in slight trouble, so I'm gonna use this exchange card. Cause I'm not gonna get anything good anyway. Another cult ace, might as well use it. Ah, 
only 100 left, that's very annoying. But the, uh, another good thing about Goblin Thief is it gives you a slight life boost, so you can take another hit before you die. You should... Usually it's very hard for your opponent to kill you uh, when you have 5,000 life points. It's doable, but it's very hard. So yeah, I'm gonna pass. And if he doesn't kill me this turn, it's very likely I kill him next turn. I might also post a relinquish video, but I hate using relinquish. I think it destroys the any fun of the game. I think that should be the first monster to be going the ban list, but maybe give it give it a couple of months. I think it will eventually go in the ban list for sure though. Bam! Oh, I'm not dead. Here we go, last card. There, a fireball. Easy money! <laughs> what money? Easy, easy money. Easy win. I hope you guys like the video. Uh, I'll keep on posting, uh, keep on updating. I'll try to collect the gems and upload more videos. See, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, click subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next time.